Hi friends, this is Chris with Josephine Design. I'm back in my Webster Pages TN. I have not put my um, my weekly back in and I just thought I would show you how to do it. This is not a typical TN insert. I got this off of Amazon and I'm really happy I did. I am going to cover these in another video next week to show you how to take a plain Jane or maybe one that doesn't match the season and how you can, you can, you know, gussy it up a little. So this, even though it is not a typical TN, it's a little bit thicker. I love this. I get this off of Amazon and this is my monthly. The monthly is already drawn off and let's get busy. Okay. So I've been, I've decided I'm going to use my nativity stickers, which are from DEK and I absolutely love them. And I bought extras. So I'm going to pull those out. I used the foiled kit in the first. So on the first weekly, I did my weekly first. I don't know why I did that, but um, I am going to use more of these and I love that. Isn't that gorgeous? So that's interesting. I didn't recognize that it didn't have the, um, it has this here. It has that star there. It has, oh, oh, I see. No, I don't see. Okay. These are here. Okay. We're good. And then I had used the stars one. So goodness, you would think, oh, golly, what is wrong with her? <laughs> okay. 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 Don't say old age. Okay. Don't say it. Don't say it. I know you're thinking it. So I think since I don't have this one foiled, I am going to put this gorgeous sticker down because this is what I used in my other. And then I think I'm going to lay one of these over it. And I had talked about that you could do that. So I'm just going to do my side. And I hope this fits. I'm not sure if it doesn't, then I will just trim it off and it doesn't. So I'm just going to trim that little bit. And I think I'm going to go with silent night. We're starting with the star theme. And I am, whoops, I'm a little crazy with that sticker there. Let's hope it doesn't rip. Oh my goodness, I'm going so, boy, that is a sticky sticker. So all of these release so well, but um, just so you know, these clear foiled ones, be careful. <laughs> Woo. Okay, I got it crooked, but we're not moving it. That is me. I'm having to sit back so far, so... We are just going to work around that and be totally happy. And I would always turn that around, but I'm not going to today. If you can't see it, it goes that way. I'm just going to fix it real quick. If I can find one of my um, little exacto knives. But since camp has gone on, um, I have not put everything back 100%. And I do not see it. Oh, yes, I do. I have two. And I saw both. <laughs> So I am just going to trim that because you don't need to do this. This is just a me thing. I just don't want that there. I don't know why. I think because it's, I like to write in these. So that's kind of the big deal. Let me see here. I don't think I have that cut well. So let me get it all cut. But I hope you guys all had a good Thanksgiving. Um, I hope you guys have wonderful fellowship, whether it was in person or on Zoom or on the phone. Um... I hope we, we had such good praises for health over the, um, the fall Bible journaling camp that I'm just praying for those that may still be in the struggles with health right now. I pray that everything is getting much better. I know it's such a difficult time, you know, during the holidays to not be feeling well and you know, we're praying for you and we love you. So, um, yeah, I mean, this is such a hard time to be sick. And I just hate that anybody would be sick. I just, ugh, if I could do anything, I wish I could just make it so nobody is sick during the holidays. Um, my friend with cancer, she's hanging in there. Um, she's still not 100%, as you guys know. And she's having to go to a lot of physical therapy. But um, we are there, and we are loving her. I'm going to see if these are the same size. I can't tell. No, nope, these are not. So I think what I'm going to do, and I don't like that plane there. So give me a second. I'm going to go back through my kits and see what I can find. But she is, she is doing, she's, she is hanging in there. We are super proud of her because of that. Um, we love her anyway, so it doesn't matter. 
Um, what, you know, whether we're proud of her or not, we absolutely love her. I'm going to take this one that isn't foiled and come across the other side with it. And I don't mind. If I had recognized that was what I had done, I probably would have ordered a little bit differently. But you know what? We bloom where we're planted and we're totally good. So, and another thing, I was just saying this in the last video, when you order from DEK, it takes 30 days. So you really want to plan ahead your stickers. So, cause they, they, they are a small three women business. And from what I, I, I don't know the Emily and Katie, the E and the K, but I know that Dawn works like crazy to get all this stuff out for everybody. So just recognizing that that's just where she is. So I am not going to take you through all of this, but I am going to put, let's see, how many weeks? Hold on one second. I've got my little calendar that they gave us for free. So we have one, two, three, four, five. I've got one, two, three, four, five. Perfect. So I'm going to put my days there. And yes, that is perfect. Don't you love when something actually works out the way you want it to? <laughs> Can you tell I'm a little excited about that? Oh, there go my birds. They hear me. Oh, so on the fold, you can really see it. I can see the Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. You probably are not going to see it very well. But trust me. Oh, that doesn't fit. Okay, I will save that for the weekly. And I will find one of my other kits that will say Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and I will put that there. Um, I do love this, but this does not match. I'm going to use that in my other, my other little, my, my purse one, my smaller TN. And I think I'm just going to go with small, smalls, and go across. So let me see what I have for small stickers. I got three, but I don't want the dark. So I may have to go, let me see if I can find the unglittered. I'm trying to keep glittered and not glittered over here. Can you tell? <laughs> so I think I'm going to go with these. Yes, I am. Perfect. Okay. So I'm just going to come across and I'm not going to worry if they don't meet because I'm just going to write on top of them or put stickers down, whichever way I end up going. So I'm not worried about it. Um, they do not have to fit in here perfectly. Why trim them? Because it's just going to look like a solid line. You know, I know you're probably saying, well, that's really lazy, but being honest, being honest. <laughs> so anyways, okay. Now I can't do that because I was going to say I've got a, a one that's partial, but it is foiled and that will not match. So trying to keep the theme going. This is unfoiled. So, I have something to tell y'all. On our Thanksgiving call, we met with some friends, and we spent a long time on the phone with them, like I said, and they talked my husband back into eating meat. So, when my daughter called today, I said, well, let me tell you what we did this weekend. I'm not really thrilled that we did it, but it's okay. Um, yeah, I supported your dad, and... Uh, we had a roast and I said, if we were going to have the first meal, it was going to be something that I wanted because <laughs> I didn't want to do it. Um, my friend, the wife who I'm really good friends with, um, can be rather, how to say this persistent would be a good way to say it. Repetitive, um, dogmatic and, <clears throat> and, um, my husband and I have been saying, if we ever, this is what we would have. So we effort. And I will tell you, um, it wasn't, it wasn't horrible. It tasted very good. Um, and you know, the one thing I can cook is a good roast. That's for sure. And, um, and, and it was more, you know, more veggies than meat, of course, of course. And, um, so we had potatoes and carrots and onions and all that. And it was, it was good, but, um, there are results of that, that we haven't had that issue with, haven't had an issue because of it, because we haven't eaten this all these years, but my, and I'm going to go ahead and split that right down there. It'll fold better eventually. If you didn't know that, um, <clears throat> but I wasn't thrilled the way it was done. 
if I can just say it that way. And that's all I'm going to say. Um, there was a level of persistence that I didn't appreciate. And it was a justification, to be honest. That's, I mean, let's be honest. That's what it was. She was justifying what they were doing and she was wanting to feel good about it. And yeah. And um, so, bless her heart. But I think, honestly, we both agreed that we are both <clears throat> a little tired these days. And I think it has to do with COVID and it has to do with the journey we've been on for years. So, but for me, I have to be careful because I don't have enough of that. Well, maybe I'll do plain on one side and sparkly on another. How's that? But I have to be careful because there is a lot of um, high cholesterol in my family. And my cardiologist already said, because he was my parents' doctor, and my, nope, that doesn't work because one is bigger than the other. I thought that's what was happening, and I thought that's how these were. Um, but he said, you know, because you eat a vegetarian diet, you know, we know it's not because you are eating a lot of animal products that you have high cholesterol. And, you know, and he just kind of carried on like, oh, I can't believe you do this. And you know, it was very sweet. But now I'm going to have to go back and say, well, guess what? <laughs> guess what my husband did beside, you know, and I was with him, you know, to, there was support there, but um, not, not super thrilled about it, you know, not, you know, and then my daughter and son-in-law will be raising um, pro, you know, uh, producing livestock, raising livestock to sell to, you know, organic to sell to, um, you know, farm raised, grass fed, all that good stuff, which is, that's what we, you know, we only got the organic grass fed, you know, so if you're going <laughs> to just know we were careful, we were selective, very selective. We went to two different places. My husband did it. He got out. He just put me on the phone, kept showing me through, um, uh, Uno or something like that. Anyways, an app on our phone and um, <clears throat> Duo, Duo through Duo. And anyways, um, you know, it, it, I'm not going to lie. It tasted fantastic. <laughs> it's been a long time. We've ha I've had a little fish in the last year. Not much, but a little bit. And I felt like that was a good enough cheat, but yeah, no. And my husband eats a lot of fish. He eats a lot of tuna fish. I get special tuna fish for him that's, you know, all healthy and all that stuff. And um, and I'm a shrimp girl. You know, I grew up on the coast of Texas, so I love my shrimp. And, um, but I wasn't ready for meat. I'm not going to lie. So, um, but my daughter loved it. I even caught, I used to make jerky for my kids. And I got the jerky gun, and I'm going to make her some jerky. And she was like, oh, thank you. Some of the stuff came in today. Boy, trying to find healthy jerky seasoning is not easy. Um, I'm not going to say it was in any way. So, <laughs> anyways. But I got that ordered. And this was just a hair wider. Let me see if it's just because it's at, yeah, maybe just because it was at that one end. Okay. Anyway, so long story short. We're off the wagon. And um, I don't know that my husband will ever go back on the wagon. Uh, the wagon of vegetarianism. Um, if it were just me, that's where I'd be all the time. Um, you know, it, the occasional meat out. You know, if you're at a special meal and you don't want to offend somebody, that would be fine. I will not bring pork back into my diet. I haven't eaten pork for a long, long time. So if you're a big pork farmer, please don't. Please don't hate me. That's weird. That came off one of the sticker things. Um, got caught in my fingernail. But um, I haven't eaten pork for a long, long time. And there was a lot of reason for that. Um, and I don't want to go into it. I don't want to hurt anybody's feelings. I don't want to do any of that. You know how you do. So, um, but, and our daughter and son-in-law will grow pork. They will. Um, theirs will be all free range. It will be all grass-fed. It will be all that. So, um, it, it's organic the whole thing and so she was saying you know well you know her husband was so like getting you know preparing how to get things for his parents he would ship them meat and all of that and send it you know overnight it frozen all of that and um and she said well he'll be so happy because he can do this for y'all too and I was like that's so sweet y'all don't need to worry about us and you know but 
it's just very, he was upset because he couldn't do it for us. It was so sweet. I mean, so sweet. You know, it'd be too bad if your parents can't do this. You know, we'd like, I'd like to do it for them too. You know, I was like, it's okay, you know. Um, but anyway, so now we get to support them. And I told her, I said, of course, we'll get all of our meat from y'all when you're up in production, you know, which I told her, I said, you know, we're not eating that much meat. <laughs> and she said, yeah, I know. I mean, the, last night was, you know, without meat. It was fresh out of the garden and, you know, I made homemade pesto. Got that put up for the year. But, you know, I just wanted her to know, you know, look, just so you know. Because <laughs> she could not support it. She's just not that kind of kid. She, um, she's just a good debater. You know, you ever have those kids that just love a good debate? <laughs> That's my child. <laughs> That's our oldest. She is just good for a good debate. So, all right. So now, let me see. So we, I'm going to just put down, let's see, Monday here is the first one, two, three, four, five. Wait, one, two, three, four, five. And then we have that. So I'm going to skip that. So this will be the first. And I'm just going to put that there. And then the 30th is on a Wednesday. Hold on. I don't even know how I got a one there. <laughs> it must have been on the tip. That is so funny. So Wednesday, so Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, this will be the 30th. And I will be putting this, these, hold on. Where is it? The number stickers on without you guys. So just to show you what it looks like, because I am not going to make you sit here and watch this. <laughs> I love you too much, okay? <laughs> So here is the one, the first of the month on a Monday. And then here is the 30th. I had to double check. How many days do we have in December? I do not know that. I do. Whoops. Where'd my 30? I didn't get it. I do not know that rhyme. I don't know it. So um, I never learned it. I never taught it. If I had taught it, I would have known it. But um, I never learned it as a child. So. Anyways, probably why I probably never taught it. But anyways, I love this. I think this is going to be gorgeous. So I'm kind of tempted to turn off the camera, lay down the stickers, and then come back for part two. And I think that's what I'm going to do. Let me see if there's anything else I want to put on here. Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I think I want to do that, and I'll come back. So this is the end of part one. So come back for part two, and I will do the last half of this. So most importantly, guys, um, I pray your day is blessed, creative, and lovely. If you are not subscribed, please subscribe. If you are not, leave it a comment. Please leave a comment. And you are not, if you enjoy this, give it a thumbs up. Um, it really helps our channel. And um, we personally as a family need that support right now. Um, there are a lot of changes that are getting ready to come our way. And we're going to be eating a lot of beans. So forget about the meat um, <laughs> until our daughter and son-in-law get it up. We're going to be eating a lot of beans. So... Um, it would really help us and I would really appreciate it. So, all right, friends, um, I'll be back with part two. I'll get those numbers on and then we'll keep going. Okay. All right, friends. Love you. Bye-bye.